How much would your life change if you knew every single time someone told you a lie? Even if that someone was you. Lies like you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you can't own a business, and you definitely will never make more than you did in your old corporate job. Get ready to be proactive, passionate, productive, and oh so profitable in a way you've never before experienced by opening your eyes to the big fat lies. Now, here's the host of Big Fat Lies, business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Oh my goodness, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Friday or whatever day you happen to be listening in the week if you have me on the replay wherever you are in the world. I'm so grateful that you decided to show up and listen today of all days. <laughs> if you look at the astrological transits or you're aware of them or you're starting to become curious about them right now more than ever, we need to be thinking about teamwork. Teamwork, like, wow, is that something that you are even cognizant of? Or are you just thinking, okay, well, I need to get my things done. I need to look after my business. I'm the one who's responsible. I'm the business owner. And so today I really want to talk about how your business grows the more people that you include in the process of your business. Now, I'm not just talking about clients. I'm actually talking about team. I'm talking about team. And so there can be team that are employees. There can be team that are contractors. There can be team that are, you know, like coaches, consultants, people that you are including in your business, people who have a stake in your business doing well, people who have a stake in you doing well as a being. And so that's why I called this show, How to Create a Dream Team That Has Your Back in Love and Business. Now, ages ago, um, a friend of mine wrote a book uh, called Business is Love Made Visible. I think that that's what the title was. And here's the thing. When we have this creative output, it is made of love. Your business is made of what you love and the services that you provide that you love. And that's the thing. We really do need a team that is here to surround us and to support us in the things that we love. <laughs> so here's the thing. If you don't have that, what happens? Burnout. It happens. And that's the main part of my business, working with people in burnout, business owners in burnout. And because, you know, as much as you love your clients, as much as you love the process of what it is that you're doing with your clients, if it's not filling your cup or if it's not filling your cup fast enough, then you're trying to fill other people's cup out of your half empty cup or out of your deficit. And that's never the thing. That's never the thing. That's like the number one thing that puts people in burnout. And there's so much programming around, you know, do, do, do to get. And we talked about that on this show quite a bit. It's like, okay, well, you know, what do I have to provide in order to be able to be the person that my clients want me to be? Well, here's the thing. What if you're already programmed? What if you're already programmed with the frequencies that allow you to be the thing that your clients are already looking for? So it's not what you have to do. It's what you already be. What your being is already programmed with or encoded with. So I have, if I haven't lost you already... <laughs> I have noticed now more than ever that it's critical for you to be surrounded with people who will go the extra mile for you. Do you get that? 
You need to be surrounded with people who will grow, grow and go the extra mile for you. And if you're not, then it's time to talk about strategic replacement of those people. You know, like it's just really, really super important to talk about strategic replacement of those people. And how do you do that? Well, we're going to talk about that today. And we're going to talk about it from an energetic level, an energetic level. So just for example, you know, we talk about human design and gene keys quite a bit on this channel. These are two resources that I use quite a lot in my business. And before I found them, I really relied on my intuition and I do rely on my intuition and it is definitely a very sharp tool in my toolbox. But when I was translating my intuition to my clients, it was excellent to be able to have uh, human design and gene keys to be able to translate those frequencies to my clients so that they can have something to look at, something to study. And um, so I found that really, really valuable. So we need to make sure right now, more than ever, we're looking at things clearly. We're looking at clear things clearly, not, oh, well, you know, this person has been in my business for 10 years. This person has been in my business for 20 years, or I have been doing this type of work in my business for 10 years or 20 years. And look at the roles and responsibilities that you've just taken on over the years in business and in your life even the roles that you've taken on in your life, the societal roles that you've taken on, and really, really be curious. Like if I was hiring for this position is a great question. If I was hiring for this position, would I hire me to do it? Would I hire this person who has been working in my business for 10 years or 20 years, or would I hire someone else and just be like super freaking clear, super freaking clear. And, you know, like I hear this about myself that I'm very pragmatic. I'm very practical. I give people permission to make different choices. And that's the thing, you know, I think that that's why I'm good at, you know, unpacking burnout and looking at all of the different parts of it and giving people permission to make different choices, make different choices. And it's so interesting. Your chart will give you the information that you need to make the different choices. And, you know, I can unpack that for you, unpack that with you so that you get the information that you need, even how to choose the different choices. Your chart will show you how to make the different choices. Some people are emotional. Some people need to make choices and go through the emotional wave and feel the emotional wave. And they can't actually make a choice while they are in an emotional wave. And so they need to just go, I'm, I'm that. I need to just go look in the mirror at myself and say, hey, am I still in a wave on this? And if I'm still in a wave on it, then I can't make a choice. And then the next way of choosing is with your sacral. And so the sacral is really primal. It's going to give you a yes and a no. And so in the moment, it will give you a yes or a no. And it's very primal. It's a uh-huh and an uh-uh. And so as a child, I actually remember being trained out of it. I used to say uh-huh and uh-uh. And I remember my mom saying to me, say yes, say no, don't grunt at me. <laughs> which is hilarious because now um, I also have an active sacral I can get that information through my sacral what I would like to be doing what's best for me in my body and then the next one is splenic and so splenic is just a flash you're gonna get a yep or a nope and, you know, so if you don't pay attention in the moment, if you haven't been trained to get your splenic awareness, then you can really put yourself in a position where later you're like, oh, shit, I knew I shouldn't have done that. And so how does all of that relate? And there's like a bunch of other 
um, authorities. There's people who need to talk it out with a trusted uh, advisor and, you know, uh, people who just know in their heart what it is that they need to do. And, you know, so there's a lot of different ways of making your choices. And I do have shows that talk about how to do that. And so that's not the spe specific uh, point of this show. This show is to talk about hiring people for your team or attracting people to your team. And so many times, many, many times people say, oh, well, Jennifer, I don't have the money to hire. I don't have the money to hire. And here's the thing. This happens every single freaking time. If you make the money to hire, your business will grow and absorb that hire. It always happens. Your business will grow to absorb, to pay for that hire. And also you need to understand that your hire is always in pre-tax dollars. You're not paying them with after-tax dollars. You're paying them with pre-tax dollars. And you get to write off every single penny of an employee, every single penny of a consultant or a coach like myself. And so, you know, the actual money that you pay for the coach or consultant or the employee in most cases will be paid for by the company itself, by your company, by your business. And, you know, I, I know we're getting a little bit complex, but it came to me this morning is that you're not seeing the accurate picture of what hiring looks like what inviting people to work with you in your business looks like. And there's dozens, like literally dozens and dozens and dozens of ways of inviting people to work with you in your business that automatically will allow your business to make more money and attract more business. Is it going to happen instantly? Probably not. Will it happen in the first calendar year? You bet especially if you are very strategic in your hires, very, very strategic in your hires. And so years ago, I really needed to hire an assistant. I absolutely needed to hire an assistant. And I also needed to hire somebody to do my back end of my internet, you know, like coming up with the sales pages and the funnels and all of that kind of stuff. Like I know how to do all of that stuff, but is it the highest and best use of my time? Absolutely not. And, you know, is it the highest of my talents? Absolutely not. And so what happened was I hired both of those people at the same time. And then what happened is pretty much instantly, I attracted three more clients and it just basically paid out the, the yearly fees for those clients and, and, or sorry, for those hires and then some, you know, so it didn't cost me any money. It was pre-tax income that I was paying them from. So I got to write that all off on my taxes. And then I had clients come in and basically pay for these hires and then some. So think about that for yourself. Like if money wasn't the object, if you're like, wow, I really can't afford it. If there was a way to afford it and you weren't making money the primary currency, you know, like maybe joy could be the primary currency or efficiency could be the primary currency or like calm could be the primary currency. <laughs> what about that? What if calm was something that made it worth it to you to make these hires? And I know for myself, calm is something that I'm, uh, I'm very... I prioritize calm and calm is one of my key frequencies in my human design chart, just calm. And you know what money loves? <laughs> you know what money loves the most is calm. Just be calm. It's okay. So we're heading into the break and I promised you today that I was going to talk about some key frequencies that you can find in your chart, in your human design chart. And so if you want to join me after the break, grab your human design chart. If you've never seen a human design chart, you can just Google it or uh, search 
free human design chart and pull up your chart with your birthday and your exact birth time and location. And we will see you after the break. You're listening to Big Fat Lies on Inspired Choices Network. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspire Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Hey guys, welcome back. So if this is you tuning in now, we're talking about how a dream team can be made up of any people who have a stake in you and your business doing well. Anybody. And so it was interesting when I was looking at doing this show and talking about teamwork, I actually tuned into a video of Richard Rudd's and um, he's the creator of the Gene Keys and he was uh, the right hand man um, helping uh, human design get out in Europe years ago. And so he was talking about how the people, the ideal people for you to include in your business is actually your family. And this is something that was kind of shocking to me. I was like, I see it all the time that people's families are the last people to buy into their business, the last people to endorse their business, the last people to, um, yeah, really support you in business. And I think we need to change that. That needs to be a paradigm that really, really changes. And so how we invite our family to endorse us in business or how we invite the people in our household to get behind our businesses is going to be individual to you. And I think if you have mated well, <laughs> this is not going to be something that's surprising, but if you have not mated well, then it will be very curious for you to just have a look at that and be like, wow, is there any way that I can get my partner? Is there any way that I can get my kids? Is there any way that I can get my sister or my siblings or, you know, my extended circle to get behind me in me, in my business? And here's the thing. If they aren't behind you, Let's look at the macrocosm and the microcosm, because if you're not fully behind you in your business, it becomes increasingly difficult for the people who love you to behind, be behind you in your business. So think about that. 
Like, let's be super clear and maybe just send a peace offering to the places where you haven't been behind yourself in your business, or you haven't effectively looked after you in your business, because we've all had those times, especially now where, you know, like one more client coming in on the wrong day or one more client coming in on the wrong month and you tip the scales from, you know, happy and full of energy to burnt out. And so think about that for yourself. If you're feeling burnt out right now, it may be difficult for you to really love your business, to really have your own back in business. And so uh, later on in the show, we're going to talk about creating some standard operating procedures and what I do with my clients. The, you know, like basically the first month that we work together, we pick apart the whole entire business and make sure that they have these legacy products, these legacy services that they can update every year or every quarter if they want. And, you know, this is something that always fulfills them, always fills their cup to provide these legacy products and services. And if it doesn't, then we need to throw them on the bonfire and just say, well, look, what can we create with the talents that you have and with the support of a team? You know, because it's really, really important for you to understand that your role is your role. And, you know, so if you're trying to do all the freaking roles, <laughs> then maybe don't do all the roles. And so there's a part of your chart that I would like for you to look at. And so you notice on a human design chart, there, there's the body graph, which is in the center. And there's some numbers on the right hand side that are black. And there's some numbers on the left hand side that are red. And so we're looking for the symbol of Mars, which is the circle with the arrow. And um, so it's about halfway down on the red hand side and the left hand side that's red. And so we're looking for that Mars and it's going to be a one or a two digit number. And then it's going to have a decimal and then it's going to have a number after that. And so the number after that is going to give us the information about what your role is in the business. And it's super freaking important that you know what your role is. You know, yes, you're the business owner, but should you be the chief cook and bottle washer? Should you be the one who's running the photocopier? Should you be the one who's doing like the online marketing? Should you be the one who's trying to like put together web pages and, you know, update the website and, you know, make the memes and make the reels. And, you know, it's like super, super important. Like it used to be, it used to be that to open a business, you know, you would have a storefront or you would have an office in a building and, you know, networking was a really great way of adding to your business. And I'll tell you what, we will be talking about networking super freaking important for you to actually have real people that you know, uh, depending on, you know, what, you know, what you have in that place, what you have in that place, that personality Mars position. And so if you're listening, wherever you are, I want to see hashtag replay. And if you can put the number and the decimal, what's after the decimal, wherever you're listening, and let me know what that is. And I would love to have some interaction with you about what that is, wherever you're listening in the world. And so, like, it's just so important to me that you get recognized for what it is that you're here to be and do. And so if you have a line one, if you have a line one after the decimal, you're here to do something called production. You are a creator. You're an investigator. You 
are really here to get the information and create a product. So for example, let's say people who really are alchemists who know how to create, let's say face cream. <laughs> say face cream. So let's pretend we're on Instagram and you have created a face cream. And so a line one will be the first perfect person to create a face cream that does everything. Like it erases wrinkles. It uh, erases, you know, plus size freckles or age spots. It brightens the skin. It makes it look 10 years younger, 20 years younger. And, you know, like everybody that you have shown it to who's tried it is like, oh my God, it's the most amazing thing. So the correct position for somebody who is creating a product, the creator of the product, the person who investigated all the ingredients and decided what went best in that product is a line one. And so those people, especially those people especially have to be very careful not to do so much in their business because they can, because they're smart enough. They've done the research. They've done the research, but they're not perfectly positioned to do that. You know, like do every single position in the business. And so if you have a line two, you're here to do marketing. You're not actually here to create the product. You're not here to create the product. And so you may have created a product, but that's not your forte. Your forte is to actually create marketing. So you're the person who creates the relationships you're the person who gets invited to do marketing. And so how it would be is say your best friend created the face cream and now you're the first level. You're the person who gets seen wearing the face cream. You're the person who gets seen wearing it. And so this is the influencer profile, the line two. And so when you go out and about and somebody compliments you on your face, <laughs> then you would have the business card of the line one and say, oh my God, this is my friend. She makes this amazing face cream. And so you're naturally marketing. It's not a, um, it's not a strategy. You being you is naturally marketing. And it's interesting. I have this and people ask me all the time. They're like, what kind of lipstick are you wearing? What kind of face cream are you wearing? What's that color in your hair? Where did you get those eyelashes? And so, you know, very, very important if you're aligned to, to just notice that about yourself. People will ask you, They'll ask you what you're wearing. And so if you don't have that built into your business to be able to say, oh, well, this is where I get my lipstick, then it might be a really great thing for you to have an affiliate or have affiliate codes for all of the things that you love. And so I definitely do that in my business. I also have a consultancy that I include amazing practitioners, amazing professionals that I know that I've worked with, that I have vetted myself, who I trust, who I know, who I think are the world's best. And, you know, so that's how I include that marketing. People are like, oh, how did you do that? Oh, well, I've been working with this person. And so now they've come under my umbrella in my consultancy. And so my clients are working with those world best practitioners and professionals. And so thinking about that for yourself, like who do you already know that's a line one or any of the other lines and you can market their stuff and just by being you. And so we're going to move into the line three. But before we go, I just want to make sure that you get this, that you don't have to be anything other than 
whatever the line number is after the decimal. The number before the decimal is the flavor. It's the flavor. And so if you're watching this on the replay, um, I do have a bunch of recommendations for you. So if you put your line number, you know, your two digits or one digit before the decimal and your line number, what I can do is I can point you to a resource to find out more about the flavor, the flavor. And we all love flavor. So after the break, we're going to talk about line three. You have been listening to Big Fat Lies. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis, and we are on the Inspired Choices Network. Join me after the break. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Awesome. So we're back. And before the break, we were talking about line one and line two in your design Mars in your, no, yeah, your design Mars in your human design chart. And so line three is something completely different than that. Line three is strategy, strategy. So if you have a line three in that position, you're all about ad adaptation, discovery, trial and error, energy and experience. And so you're here to show people better ways of what it is that they're doing in business or what it is that they're doing in the um, in the sphere of their life that they've come to you for. So if you have a service, you're here to show people better ways of doing that service. If you have a product, then you're here to show people better ways of utilizing that product. And so for strategy, like what is strategy? Basically, it's all of the better ways to do something. And so you may be the friend or you may be the business owner who people come to when they want to make a discovery, when they want to make an adaptation to what it is that they're doing. And so really have a look at that strategy if you're a line three, because it may be something that comes just completely naturally to you. And one of the things that I do notice is people with line threes in this position are often asked out to coffee <laughs> and give away this strategy, this adaptation, this, you know, hard won, hard earned knowledge uh, without having people in a contractual or client arrangement. And so I'm here to tell you, please stop doing that. The more that we stop giving away our expertise and we start asking people to pay for it, then we create an economy where our expertise is valuable. And here's the thing. If you end up saving people heartache, 
with your adaptation, then how valuable is that? If you end up saving people money with your discovery or your adaptation or your, um, when you look at what it is that they're doing and you can just see, I have a lot of three in my chart too. I can just see what people are doing wrong. And so for me to just like smack them in the face uh, over coffee or over a glass of wine with what they're doing wrong, it's not welcome, is it? <laughs> it's just not welcome. And so we have to be super careful with this line three that we're not just throwing away, you know, oh, this is what you should do. This is what you should do now. You have to invite people to work with you or they have to invite themselves. Actually, a friend of mine, she's like, oh, I make people ask me twice to work with me. And she's always booked up, always, always booked up. She's just like, oh my God, a whole bunch of people popped up on my calendar. So she has zero problems with her own worth and especially she has this line three. So she's just really, really excellent in giving people strategy that changes their lives. And so we have to be very, very careful not to take ourselves too seriously with this line three, except for if somebody's asking us for advice, then you can say, oh, are you looking for a strategy session? And, you know, if it sounds like that they are, then they can choose it. They can absolutely choose it. And so line four, line four is actually sales. Line four is sales. And so this line four has a magnetic influence. They have community. They're the lovers of the world. And so why can they do sales best? Well, because they have the network. They have the friends. They're the person who, you know, their Instagram is probably huge. Or, you know, they can just put together these groups of people. People want to buy from a line four. You know, people might want to just say, oh, well, I'd like to buy, you know, this one thing, you know, from the marketing of a line two, but a line four is a network. And so that's a big bunch of people. They have magnetic influence and they have the ability to sell. They just have a an ability to sell. And, you know, people look at line fours differently because of that magnetic influence, because of that connection, because of that love, because of that community. And so super important that if you are a line four and you're hiding behind closed doors, if you're like super hermity right now, it's very, very important for you to start to do your networking. Very, very important. And there's a ton of online networking. I think that, you know, the last thing that you want to do really is to be on another Zoom meeting. But for line fours in this position, actually for all of the lines, it's super important that people know you, that they get to meet you. And so if they have no idea who you are, it's really difficult to have a profitable business, isn't it? <laughs> So what I would love for a line four is to be very interested in what communities that you're interested in, because you're not meant for strangers. You're meant to work with people who already know you in some way. And so it can be like community groups. I would look at where you've been invited by other people. Be very, very cognizant of where you've been invited by other people. And so line fives. Oh, yes. Line fives. So you are pretty much the only people who can have a global internet style business. And so if you do have a line five in this position, if we're very careful about it, you can have a like a service business or a product business or both on the internet. You have the frequency, you're practical, you exude leadership, you're organized, you know about power. And so in this position, it's called management. 
It's called management. And you're actually supposed to have a big team. You're supposed to have a publicity person. You're supposed to have the person who puts up the internet pages. So like the sales funnels, that kind of stuff. And in most cases, you will know how to do all of this because line fives are so practical. They're such leaders that they, you know, in most cases are self-informed about how to do all this stuff. But people just flock to a line five in this position. They just do. And so you may even notice that about yourself, that people flock to you. And so what I would say for teamwork for a line five is you have to be careful that you are conscious about what you expect from your team. If you don't know how to do something well, but you're expecting your team to snap to attention, then you have to make sure to hire somebody that's already educated. You know, you will love it when people already know how to do the stuff that you know how to do way better. And line fives do have the ability to make big bank. (laughs) They just do. And bless them. I love my line fives. Love them. And so being very, very careful that you step into your role of leadership correctly. You know, you can't just be like a power hungry guru because line fives do have the ability to be a power hungry guru. And, you know, so probably not your wisest choice right now. We have enough. We've met our criterion on the planet right now for power hungry gurus. (laughs) So line six in this position is called philanthropy. It's called philanthropy. And so your role would be as a visionary, as an overseer, um, as an educator. Line five is, or sorry, line six is called the spiritual mentor or the spiritual teacher or the spiritual advisor. So they are futurists. They are wise And so your role may be as a consultant. And the thing that you have to be very, very careful with as a line six is that you have to be patient with yourself. You really have to be patient with yourself and super patient with others. Because there's an, with the line sixes, if they get disappointed with the results that they're getting, sometimes they will just completely shut themselves off. (laughs) so if you're a line six in this position maybe just forgive yourself if you've shut yourself off and then really unpack your business get help to unpack your business all of you get help to unpack your business and really have a look at where you are honoring where you are and where you've sort of abdicated your position to others successfully or unsuccessfully and you know because the thing is you having a business right now on this planet is so freaking key. If you're a regular watcher, you know how excited I get about entrepreneurship. I just think it's it's the way of the world. You know, we are in a four-year collapse cycle right now. We've got at least another two years of collapse. And so as much as the World Economic Forum would love for us to, you know, just continue to buy at the big box stores so that they can continue to like control us and tell us what to do with our lives and control our, um, our income streams and control our uh, inventory, all of that kind of stuff. I just think entrepreneurship is so freaking amazing. It's the wave of the future. People are coming up with just amazing inventions and amazing services and people to people heart to heart connection is the wave of the future you notice in these big box stores they don't even want us to go to a cashier anymore they want us to just do our own checkouts and I kind of don't like it so the type of people who work with me are very very interested in a heart to heart connection and that's what we get with entrepreneurship we build a product or a service with our hearts and then we bring it out to the universe we bring it out to other people with our hearts and so a heartfelt connection with entrepreneurship will always be the thing that goes viral but you need team 
You absolutely need team. And the more you start to be cognizant of what your role is, then now you can see you're like, wow, if I'm a line one, I need a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. I need five more people working in my business or working on my business. Now, do all of those people have to be employees? No. Can some of those people be trusted advisors? Absolutely. And what I have noticed is the more willing you are to like unpack your business and pick it all apart and like keep the things that work and junk the things that don't work, especially now during a collapse cycle, it's super important for us to junk the things that aren't working and to be really, really concise about it. Because when we come out of the collapse cycle, we really do have a chance to just be rocket fuel in business. And so I see we're heading into another break. Please join me after the break. This is Jennifer Kramer Lewis and the Big Fat Lies Show on Inspired Choices Network. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that. How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Oh my goodness, you guys, can you believe it? We are almost done for today. We're almost done for today. And Before we go, I have, I just, what do I want to leave you with? Well, before I leave you with my rant, (laughs) I want to let you know that next week we are talking about trust. We're talking about trust and how to trust yourself and the universe now more than ever. You know, there's just been so much betrayal of trust. You may have experienced betrayal of trust in this collapse cycle. You may have really thought, well, I don't know what I know how to do. I don't know where I'm going. So how on earth can I have a business? How on earth can I expect people to trust me to do business with them? And very, very important, very, very important for you to know what you can trust you with. And so we're going to take out quite a few energetic tools for you to get to the bottom of how you learn to trust you, how you learn to trust you. Oh, yes, we've got somebody in the audience. She says, oh, I need that as I trust with a price point change. Yeah because it may be time to change your prices. It may be time to change your products. And you need to trust that the universe is going to support you as you unpack your business and only keep the parts of your business that truly ignite you, truly make you feel switched on and like super happy. And as you start to hire for your business, you're like, oh my God, is this an expense that I will recoup? I need to actually trust myself. I need to trust the universe that I'm divinely supported. So I am inviting you to join me at one o'clock Pacific, four o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Inspired Choices Network. You can grab the link on my link tree, which will be in the comments of this post wherever you are. You can join me in the chat room. The link is on my link tree there. So it's link tree forward slash Jennifer Kramer Lewis, Kramer with a C. And what do I want to leave you with? What do I want to leave you with? It's super freaking important for us to realize that we are not a microcosm of one. Everyone we touch, everyone we spend time with, everyone we engage with, and everyone who engages with our work 
our heart product comes out altered. They come out altered. And so I would really, really invite you to dial down on the alteration that your product and your service, your place of work, your spa, your consulting, your healing work, your writing, dial down on what the alteration is that your heart-based product and heart-based service invites people to. What is the transformation? What is the alteration? You know, you heard earlier in the show that one of my buzzwords for me is calm, calm. And I would say that as I unpack with people, their businesses, I give them permission to be calm about what stays and calm about what goes because they may have a huge investment in their business. And in most cases, they do. So they're like, well, shit, that thing that you're suggesting that I get rid of, I have a time investment in, I have a love investment in, I have done all of the research, I can feel the line ones, they're like, oh my god, it took me forever to figure out the magic formula for that face cream, and now you're suggesting that I chuck out that face cream. Well, I would never suggest that they chuck anything out, but I can tell the energetic difference when they pick up this pot of face cream. I'm like, oh, that face cream turns you on. I'm that energetically adept. I'm like, I can tell what turns people on and what doesn't turn people on. And I'll tell you what, when you go through your business, starting to ask, like, what actually turns me on? What do I love? What do I want to take to the future with me? That's a way better question than, you know, like, what's profitable? Or, you know, like, what's my least profitable product? What's my most profitable product? Because I'll tell you what, when you create something that turns you on, then what happens is, of course, you're going to want to share it. And so your best friend takes it and puts it on and is like glowing all over town. And people are like, oh my God, what? why are you glowing? And then your best friend just like can't stop telling people. And then you're getting, you know, product referrals, all of this kind of stuff. And then somehow a three shows up and a three is like, oh, well, if you change this and this, it'll be more profitable. And then once you change this and this, then your friend who's in sales is like, oh my God, you made those changes. I can sell this every day, all day. And then once the sales process shows up, a five is going to want to get their hands on it. They're going to want to. They really love the purchase process and they have to purchase it from the four process. And so once the five gets a hold of it and they sell a bunch of it on the internet, then the money comes in and then the sixes can help you decide what to do with that money. Where's the best philanthropic endeavor? What's the future of that money that feeds everyone all the way down to the production line? everyone all the way down to the production line. So we have our unique roles. And why do we have our unique roles? Because there's something called differentiation. You're not supposed to do all of the roles. And when you're trying to do all of the roles, it's like the highway to burnout fill. And what it does is it bankrupts your unique sets of talents, capacities, and abilities. And how dare you really <laughs> don't do it. And so if you are in the process of burnout, if you're like disillusioned, you're kind of sad, you don't want to do what it is that you're doing, then a conversation with me is probably your next best thing. Like, let's have a talk about it. Let's have a talk about the burnout and the source of the burnout. And so I'm just inviting you next week to show up and learn how to trust yourself again. It's really, really important. Learn how to trust the universe again. Learn how to trust your role because it's super, super important that you are here. Your unique color, your unique frequency, your unique contribution is super, super important on this planet. 
And if you're not here, then you will be missed. You will be missed. And so this lack of trust, this lack of faith in the universe and in yourself needs to stop. It needs to stop. So that's my invitation. Please join me on Friday, maybe live in the studio audience. So jump on my link tree, grab that link for next week's show. And thank you so much for showing up today. Love you guys. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies.